And you mentioned that now you're collecting all these stories, and I understand that there's comic books in the work. You can speak a little bit more on that. that, that that's right. We um, so we're huge comic book fans, uh, as you can imagine. You know, game developers. Uh, you know, we we love comics and. We, we've often talked about it in the past that you know we'd love to do a comic book project and of course whenever we say this internally all of our art directors for various games our concept artists all want to work on these projects but of course we're not a comic book uh, creator uh, we understand really that we want to partner with some of the best companies in the industry that are doing uh, books and projects that are really uh, faithfully representing the, the worlds that they're uh, uh, mirroring basically in comic book or graphic novel format. So we're actually announcing today our partnership with Dark Horse Comics. Uh, we'll be working with us on a digital comic and a hardcover graphic novel called Eve True Stories. Basically taking the true stories of Eve Online and creating uh, short stories fictionalized uh, works that are inspired by the true stories, of course, that are set 20,000 years in the future. Now, sticking with the comics, the players that submit the true, sto true stories, do they get any, any prize for winning either contest or have their story featured in the comic book? Well, basically the prizes for the best stories as voted by our players, the, the grand prize is a trip to Iceland uh, sometime over the next year. Uh, for the, the best story and, and a friend uh, to come to Iceland, uh, basically visit with CCP, um, you know, meet some of the devs, uh, but also we're giving that player about a decade's worth of Plex, so uh, effectively a decade of subscription or currency, depending on how he wants to use it. Uh, and, and, you know, that, that's exciting for us. What we're not saying today is specifically how each of these stories will be represented. Uh, really, uh, the media projects we are doing are fictional projects, so we don't want to break the fourth wall by, for example, taking a character from Eve and representing him exactly as he is uh, seen in the game. Uh, so we probably won't use the in-game uh, you know, character name or the real name of the player, uh, but certainly the traits and possibly the look of that character might be represented. Uh, and certainly when we do use a true story from the player base, we're looking at calling that out basically in these projects. So you might think about, for example, in a comic book, the extras pages might actually have a shout out to that player with the character portrait of the original player and the story link. Uh, and that's kind of how we're thinking about, you know, honoring and representing the actual uh, founding story that's then used to tell these fictional uh, 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 tales. Has the Star have Star Wars started their comics yet? Like when would the first issue come out? Uh, so we're basically uh, going to be bringing the digital comic out uh, this winter. Uh, so we're hard at work with them on it now. Um, the digital comic will be free uh, to everyone. Uh, so we're making the whole series free, both on iOS, Android, and of course on Dark Horse, Dark Horse Comics Digital. Uh, but then, and, you know, as we get uh, further into the winter, we'll bring everything together into a beautiful hardcover graphic novel, add some extra content, and then that will become available uh, you know, at comic book stores, bookstores around the world. Typically with any comics, it's followed by, let's say, a TV show or a TV series, especially movies nowadays with Marvel and DC. What are your plans? Do you have any plans on those? We do have some plans. Uh, you know, we have, of course, listened to the comments uh, from the fans. We know whenever we do a cinematic trailer at events like FanFest, you know, the, the, the forum comments are all, uh, you know, ablaze with, you know, when is Eve the movie coming out? So we've thought about this over the years, and, and you know, it's, it's exciting to do something like that, but we don't think film is the right format for Eve. Uh, both it's too short and you know most Hollywood blockbusters are usually PG-13. Eve is a pretty dark, mature environment. And so we're actually uh, working and announcing today that we are in development of a TV series uh, with a, a uh, very successful and, and a sort of artistically interesting director called Baltasar Kormagur. Uh, and he's working in his writing team with our creatives at the moment on development of Eve, the TV series. And will this be a live action or animated TV series? Uh, live action. Our, our game uh, has no aliens. They're all humans. Uh, we want the verisimilitude to, to be represented by some of the best actors and actresses that we can bring to this project. So it will be live action all the way. And I know CCP is based in Iceland and now the director is also in, will be in Icelandic. Would it be available online, or how would it be distributed to your fans in other countries? We're hoping to bring this project to a global audience, uh, and certainly uh, there are a number of different ways to do that. Uh, we'll be giving some more information about how exactly this experience will be brought to uh, an audience, uh, and a global audience, uh, uh, in the near future. 
so I'm, I'm guessing the storyboard has not started since the contest is still going on. You know, it's interesting. So if you're if you're creating a TV series, uh, you of course have to have you know a high concept, a storyline, an arc, uh, you know some thought about how a series plays out and beyond that. Uh, so what we've already started work on this. Uh, we'll be taking true stories that are being submitted and representing those as story plot lines. Uh, within the TV series. So you'll have a, a sort of fictional uh, overall setting, but then events will happen that are basically inspired by the true stories that are being submitted today. In most sci-fi films, their budgets are very high. Would this be a Hollywood style production or would it be filmed in Iceland? Uh, those two are not mutually exclusive. Have you seen Oblivion? That was filmed in Iceland. Prometheus was filmed in Iceland. Uh, so we are hoping to do parts of this series in our home country. Uh, if you look at the art style of Eve uh, and indeed of Dust 514, the maps of Dust 514 were all inspired by the Icelandic net nature and setting. So the mood board that was created by the team was actually taking photos from settings here in Iceland. So we hope to do some of this here uh, on, on home turf as it were. Would there be any cameos from either the CEO staff or the executive teams or any of the devs? Um, we'll have a casting call, and if Hilmar, you know, makes the cut, we, we hope to get him in. And uh, they touched upon the 3D printing. Can you talk a little bit more about that? Yeah, 3D printing as a technology is just amazing. Uh, I mean, we've, uh, you know, over the years, again, thought about ways in which we could take kind of these unique, customized experiences that our players have, whether it's their character, the character portrait, uh, or, you know, the events that they're participating in in-game, and, and create a way to kind of make those real. Uh, so we, see, we were showing a couple of examples of kind of prototypes here uh, today, but we'll have an announcement and more news on this uh, with our partner uh, hopefully in the very near future. But the concepts we're working on really are taking, taking kind of that, you know, that unique experience that you have as an individual in EVE or DUST and, and, and making it real, you know, getting a commemorative object that you can basically have on your, on your desktop or you know, wherever you choose to place it in your home. So for those who have 3D print printers right now, who back the Kickstarter project, I understand your Shanghai team already developed some prototypes, some models. Would they be releasing the prints for it? Or the instructions on how to make those prints themselves? That's an awesome idea. I, I think after I heard that, we probably will be. 